Nope, that's not scooting over. Cool. Steinbeck. Go play with popcorn, Pop. Okay. Okay. All right. So, fine. You you just don't play with popcorn. Okay. Um, so, Pentax is going to make a series of film cam. Well, Rico under the Pentax brand is going to make a series of film cameras. Are they going to change the world for film photographers? Oh, good question. Let's ask ourselves, not them. I don't know anyone there. But first, the intro. All right, so today I am enjoying, sorry, new year, new me, can't see anything. Uh, the the Mediano roast from De Vuelta a Ti. I apologize to all of my Spanish speaking audience for that pronunciation. Coffee in Chapala, Mexico. It was literally the only media, the, it, it was the, so it's a good coffee first off. And, and also De Vuelta a Ti is a, uh, very nice, very pleasant coffee shop to spend a, a good deal of time in. And um, it was also the only only non-dark roast I could find while we were in Mexico. So, yeah, that's good. All right, so anyway, let's go back in time two weeks. The day before Rico released their video, saying, uh, hey, we're working on a series of film cameras. I'm packing up for our Mexico trip and I've got the A7S II in the camera bag and I look at my microphone. I'm like, I don't need to bring that. It's the end of the year. Literally no one, no camera maker is gonna make a big announcement. So Rico's making, Rico is embarking on a project to attempt to make film cameras. Canon released uh, has a patent for a global shutter that's what 5.7k and a some crazy number of frames per second is it nikon that's got the th i think canon also has a thousand frame per second shutter uh designed for industrial use and then nikon has a new shutter and er, not shutter uh sensor I'll replace shutter on all of those with sensor uh, it's just so, so the point of that is I go out of town and all of this big camera news hits, but what we're focusing on is Rico's announcement. So I went back just before I recorded this and re-watched the Rico announcement video again. And the, it sounds like their plan is to release a series of four cameras, starting off with a basic point and shoot, an advanced point and shoot, an SLR, probably an electronic based SLR, uh, because that will almost certainly be easier to make based on their existing digital SLR architecture. And then um, a mechanical SLR. So first thing I thought hearing that is, where have I heard this before? Oh yeah, Yashica. How did that go? Very badly. So uh, Rico, if you guys are watching, if your plan is to take one of these plastic, fantastic Kodak M38, Ilford Sprite, double film show type cameras, put the Rico Pentax badge on it and release it. Stop right now. Don't do that. You will undermine all of your credibility in the film photography space. If the first thing you release is one of these plastic cameras, that is just a rebadged version of one that I can buy on AliExpress for $20.17. How do I know that price? Because I bought one last night for $20.17. So um, don't do that. The only way that plan will work is if you take out the stock lens that comes in those, the, the molded or the, uh, the, the cast formed whatever acrylic lens that those come with and replace it with a custom lens design of your own that is optical glass and has your coatings in it. That's the one way that that approach has any credibility, but realistically, and, and it does, it's hard to read between the lines and the, the announcement, whether or not that is in the cards. My sincere hope is no, that Rico is not going to do that. Um, 
if, if Rico comes out with a, a little point and shoot that is their own design, it's, even if it's a simple one, uses their own lenses, I think this project has legs. If they rebadge one of these, these Chinese made cameras that uh, are coming out at way overpriced prices um, under Agfa, Ilford, and Kodak badges, I think that I, think that I would lose complete faith in this project uh, until proven otherwise. So, um, but then it sounds like that's the first one. Then the second one's going to be a more advanced point and shoot than an electronic SLR ending with a fully mechanical. Now, where I have a lot of hope about Ricoh's approach to this project is that they've brought in their old retired engineers. And the retired engineers from, from the video release, it sounds like, are teaching the younger engineers how to do film camera engineering. When it comes to a mechanical film SLR, if you've ever taken apart an old film SLR, say from the 50s, 60s, or even the early 70s, everything in it is clockwork. It's all mechanical engineering, gears, springs, cams, levers, things like that. And then the, it, it's interesting, having taken apart film SLRs going back to the early 50s and then up until the mid 70s, um, and having talked with Eric Hendrickson about the, the internals of some of the Pentax cameras over that time, there's a progression in an advancement of the engineering. So even though, for instance, the Pentax K from 1950 um, and the Pentax K1000 from the 70s through the 90s both have a fastest shutter speed of 1 1,000th of a second, the internal mechanics of the K1000 are more complicated than that of the Pentax K. And it, it seems logical to assume that those, the added complexity has to do with an improvement of the consistency of timing and reliability of camera use over time. Um, that's a guess on my part as to why they would introduce mechanical complexity because there is no reason to introduce complexity unless it has a benefit, okay? That's just basic mechanical engineering principles. So, so what I'm sincerely hoping is that Ricoh has, has engineers who understand the mechanical workings of their mechanical film cameras and that they're bringing those people in to help teach their junior engineers how the mechanics work, how, how winding and how you know, you're storing the energy when you advance the film and then releasing it through uh, the action of taking the photos and things like that. How you, how you would um, make the mechanics more robust and the mechanical components more robust, things like that. So I'm hoping that all of those lessons that have been were learned over those decades are being transferred effectively. The mechanical SLR, which is the fourth SLR that they, the fourth camera that they talk about in that release video, is to me the single most interesting part of that plan. My sincere hope is that they reach that and that it's successful. Um, it would also be nice if a mechanical SLR has the ability to use KAF four lenses. Wishful thinking, I'm sure. Anyway, um, so, so what they don't say in the video is whether these are all going to be 35 millimeter. And, and I was, was watching that, I thought to myself, you know, it would really make a lot of sense if those point and shoots are 35 and then that electronic SLR that they kind of hinted at is 35 and then the mechanical SLR is 120. Were it me, that's the way I would go about it. Um, but anyway, even having a 35 millimeter mechanical SLR on the market from Pendex would be awesome. Then the question becomes one of manufacturing. And look, Ricoh's gonna have much more well-versed manufacturing experts than I am, but were it me, I would use as much laser cutting as possible for this simply because you can very efficiently get the parts produced in-house right there as needed do rapid prototyping rapid correction of design issues things like that so and um i think that would be a very affordable and easy and reliable way to do it that would put a whole bunch of supply chain and manufacturing control in rico's hands and probably not increase the cost of the cameras in any meaningful way. So at any rate, uh, I'm very excited about this. I had wanted to do this video while I was in Mexico, but I didn't have a microphone for it, so I couldn't 
But anyway, uh, here we are with my new Mexico mug, Mexico 2022, and um, very exciting times in the film SLR world. So anyway, until next time, and maybe we'll be able, maybe Steinbeck will be friends with Popcorn by then, and she'll be on the, the video. Don't know. She's camera shy. Have a good day. See you guys soon.